<laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another podcast with Vorton Fett and Gustav. I'm Vorton Fett. And I'm Gustav Soros Barafont. And we have a special guest today. His name is Stu Dog. Hey, guys, it's Stu Dog. And we'll go ahead and start this off. Uh, Stu Dog, go, go ahead and tell everybody a little bit about your channel for the people that don't already know who you are. So um, on YouTube, I make uh, cinematic videos and trailers around Star Wars and Battlefront in general. Yeah, he makes some pretty awesome cinematics. Uh, the link will be in the description if you guys want to check it out. So we'll go ahead and get on with the Last Jedi podcast. So Gustav, you have any predictions about the the Last Jedi? Uh, yeah, I think it will be uh, uh, much better than uh, Force Awakens. I have pretty high expectations because if you look at this uh, as the middle movie of the new trilogy, like Empire Strikes Back, I hope it it will be close to as good as Empire Strikes Back was uh, in the original trilogy. So um, yeah, I have pretty big expectations. Right. Yeah, I think Ryan Johnson's uh, definitely going to try something different since uh, since people didn't really particularly like the Force Awakens and how similar it was to New Hope. Do you have any? uh, predictions on the movie stew dog um i i don't i'm not really sure on predictions just yet but i was just gonna agree with gustav that i think it's gonna be way better than the force awakens because i thought because that was uh the first movie of the new trilogy they had, they had to play it a bit safe so they kind of you know they had to kind of follow the new hope storyline a bit but ron johnson yeah. looks like he's made a really creative film and um i'm excited to see what like stuff he has planned yeah and the fact that uh disney is giving him a whole, you know, new trilogy to write yeah. with. Really says he did something oh, yeah. really you, good. You know, he's, it's going to be good <laughs> if they yeah. just give him a whole trilogy. Yeah, I have a big trust in him. Yeah, well, that, that's definitely a good sign. When I saw that they were giving him a whole trilogy, I was like, well, now I'm really excited about the Last Jedi. Mm. Yeah. And who do you guys think Ray is? Because there's a lot of theories on Ray. Do you guys have any like uh, predictions on who you think Ray actually is? Um, oh. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go first? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think just based on the on the fact that of how like powerful she is, I think she's like Anakin that she is like born from the Force. I've I've thought that since like the Force Awakens came out. Yeah. She's I, you know I don't I, know who her mo- mother is. <laughs> that's right. thoughtful. That's been kind of my theory that she's kind of like a Anakin born from the Force. I don't think she's any you know related to any particular person that we've known in the past. Uh, what do you think, Gustav? Yeah, I've had the same theory before, but I've changed my mind a bit since the trailers and stuff. Uh, I actually think she's a Palpatine. Uh, really? Yeah. <laughs> what uh, makes it, you think that? It, it would be so cool if she was. Like, uh, if she maybe turns, we were going to talk about that later, but I don't think she's a Kenobi because that would be too weird. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know. I just have the feeling, and you can see in the in the trailer when she ignites the lightsaber, Palpatine scream. You can hear it. Uh, yeah, that yeah. I was actually gonna say. Does nobody think she's a Palpatine? Um, there are a lot of like like good theories on on uh, her being a Palpatine, and also Adam Driver in one of the interviews did call her a princess, like she was, you know, uh, yeah. royalty. Which, yeah, maybe from Naboo or something. Yeah, somebody know. from Naboo, which could be linked to Palpatine. Yeah. So that's that's definitely a possibility. Um, so do you, who do you guys think Snoke is, or like what is his uh his role slash purpose in the Last Jedi? Yeah, at first, like after the Force Awakens, I I like I was I had my heart set on Plagueis that he was Plagueis, but as time's gone on, I just think he's a new character that we haven't seen before. Really. Yeah, you, I'm just excited to see more more about him. Do you think he's gonna play more of like a um like a like a role that uh, Palpatine played, kind of the oh yeah, you know, definitely Empire. like the the guy on the throne. <laughs> it's like calling the shots, right? Uh, what would you say, Gustav? <clears throat> yeah, I, I agree. Like the the figure in the background, the looming, I would say the looming figure in the background, uh, like Palpatine was. Uh, but I think he's like an ancient, ancient uh, I don't know, being or Sith. I don't know from because. Clearly, he's really damaged, and probably he's really old as well. So, uh, but I, I agree with Stu. I wanted him to be Plagueis before, but the, it's debunked pretty hard. So yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It was it was also talked about he can be Darth Knight. Uh, what is it called? 
Nihilus. Yeah. 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 I, I really wanted him to be Plagueis and uh because Plagueis, you know, worked on his whole purpose was, you know, manipulating many Glorians to, you know, uh, yeah. basically live forever. Yeah. So I was really I heard hoping a, uh, that. So it was quite a while ago, but I heard that Snoke is a thousand years old. So, you know. <laughs> right. I'm not sure if that's confirmed or not, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's necessarily confirmed, but it's very, very possible. He does look like he is uh, pretty old and decrepit. Yeah. Um, I feel like if he was Plagueis, though, that would just like just bring all the trilogies together, you know? Yeah, it would close the chapter really good with if like the whole all the trilogies. So, so if he was Plagueis, would you guys actually it, enjoy that he was? You yeah, definitely, that? definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that would. I think some be people awesome. wouldn't like that. They're just like, oh, not 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 everything has to be connected. It's like, yeah, but it would be cool though, wouldn't it? <laughs> right. Like, yeah. yeah, I think it would be pretty awesome. Um, and recently, there's been some news dropping with the new uh, lightsaber colors. You know, uh, Snoke having a black crystal ring, and also the possibility of you know maybe Luke turning uh, a crystal into like a pure crystal and having kind of like a J- a gray Jedi. What do you guys? A white one. Yeah. A white one. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I um, I heard that t- t- yesterday, and I made a video about it um, because it says in the I, th- I don't know which magazine it was, but uh, Ryan Johnson said it was a new color like, slash hue. Uh, so I I hope I hope it's uh, Snoke that has a black white saber or something. But he, Wait, he that's can... confirmed that there's a new color. Yeah, yeah. it's confirmed. Yeah. Yeah, oh. he, he stated in a in a magazine that there's going to be a new. He said hue. He didn't even say color, which is the same thing. But yeah, yeah he said there's a new hue right. uh, lightsaber for the last. That Jedi. could be the same color then, just like slightly altered. Right, but the fact that he says hue too, technically the color black is a shade, not a color. Yeah. So, I do want Snoke to have like kind of like a black lightsaber. I think that'd be pretty sick looking. Um, yeah, I but, I don't feel like Snoke uses a lightsaber though because. Didn't um the actor he said like Snoke is more powerful than Palpatine and Palpatine like didn't feel the need to use one, right. yeah. So yeah, I, I mean, doubt Snoke would need one. That's a, that's a really good point actually. Yeah, he he definitely. I I don't think we'll ever see a lightsaber. I think that's kind of why he just wears the crystal as a ring instead of actually having it in a lightsaber. I don't think we'll we'll actually ever see him wielding. <clears throat> no, that's it'll a be, bit. It'll be interesting to see Luke with a like white crystal though. Cause remember like Ahsoka, she was like a gray Jedi. Right, and she had one as well. I think that yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty awesome. Plus, we've seen a lot of stuff, uh, you know, with Luke being on both the the evil side and the good side uh, posters. So I think we could see possibly him wield like a white lightsaber. Yeah, that'd be cool. I would prefer a green one though, just to you know, <laughs> just for that nostalgia. Yeah. And also, Ryan Johnson has uh, uh, confirmed that there's going to be a love story. Um, who do you guys think? Do you think it could be like a Ray Finn love story, or uh, who do you uh, guys he, think? He said, Ryan Johnson said in an interview that it's going to be a love story, but in a different way than the Han and Leia one. So I don't know if he means like a gay story or what <laughs> what he means. Uh, you think, you think I don't Finn know. And po? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think so. I, I heard some rumors about uh, Laura Dern's character, uh, maybe and Poe. So no uh, way! No way! <laughs> Screwed like, relationship. She's thirty years older than. Me. Yeah, I know, I know, but uh, you're circling some rumors. Yeah. I think I don't know if it could be Finn and Rose. I doubt it. I think it. I think it's definitely going to be like Raylo or something around it, <laughs> something like that. From what I've seen in the trailers. Yeah, too generic. The only thing yeah. I, I mean, if Ray becomes a Jedi with the how the Jedi Order is, she wouldn't be able to technically have a relationship so that's also another interesting thing but then it's time for the jedi to end so he, yeah. he's probably changed a lot of roles <laughs> since he's the only one left he can do what he wants right yeah exactly that's that's why luke didn't like the jedi anymore because they were so strict and they couldn't uh, have feelings to other people have relationships uh, he, he thought that was wrong so that's maybe that's why he want to change it and um since since we're on the topic of uh uh, it's time for the Jedi to end. What do you What do you guys think that actually? What do you think he means by that? I think he wants to start a new order. I don't think he 
Yeah. <laughs> he just wants to start a new order, a new set of rules or something like that. You don't think he's going to... He means by, like, he wants the Jedi to die and he's turning to the nah, dark side? I didn't turn dark side. I just think he doesn't agree with the set of rules that they have. He, he wants to, like, come up with something in the middle. I think he's definitely a great Jedi. Definitely. Yeah, he seems like he's definitely turning as a great Jedi. What do you, what do you think, Gustav? Yeah, but like, I, like I said before... Um, there were some big problems with the Jedi in the prequel era. With they were so strict, they couldn't use anything from the dark side, just the light side, and that that made them um, a bit too weak. I think they need to reach out more, like Luke says in the trailer, reach out. Um, I think you need to use the, both the dark and the light side to uh, really know how the Force works. Right. Yeah, if yeah. you think about it as well, their strictness is kind of their downfall as well. Cause, yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. They're, they're really strict with Anakin when he was like telling Yoda about, oh, someone I know, I've seen a vision of them dying. It's like he, he just told him to let go and not like how to save him. Yeah, uh, I've, I've they, always seen that like as a weakness to have both sides. Like, yeah. yeah. So what do you guys think about the similarities of the Empire and the First Order? Um... I, I don't know. I feel like the First Order is just like the Empire with updated vehicles, basically, and just like bigger and better right. rather than the, the new uh, walkers. What do, what do you think, Gustav? Do you... <clears throat> yeah, it's it really seems to end that way. Like they have bigger walkers and they um, they have a looming pressure in the background, exactly like Palpatine. So they I have I, I, and troopers as well. Yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah. the same rank and everything. Yeah. Do you yeah. think they're the the same? Like really similar because of Kylo Ren and his like obsession with Darth Vader. Is that why you think the First Order is so similar to the Empire? I or... don't think so. I think they had didn't they have like uh, in old like ex Imperials working for them? They kind of like built them back up in the shadows, just like while the n- new Re- Republic or whatever were just like ruling. Right. Like the the em- it was basically Empire like two point yeah. yeah. Empire on steroids, pretty much. Really. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, and what do you guys, uh, do you think Kylo Ren is going to turn or Rey is going to turn or either of them are going to turn sides? I think uh, they're both going to walk along the line of, um, Kylo's going to go along the light of it, Rey's going to go a bit dark, but I don't think either of them are going to fully turn in this movie. I think in the next movie, Kylo will turn, but Rey won't. That's, that's, yeah, that's what I think. That, yeah, that's actually my theory. I think... I think Kylo for sure will because they kind of they kind of set it up that way in the Force Awakens and stuff. So I really think Kylo will be turning, but I I don't I don't think Ray will. What do you think, Gustav? Yeah, um, I agree. And in, in interviews, uh, both both Adam Driver and Daisy really has said like they're both the same, uh, just different side of the of the coin. So like Stu Dog said, Ray is uh, going on the dark line and. Kylo on the the light one, so, but I don't think they're gonna turn in this movie. I just think they're gonna cl- be really close to each other and maybe have some moments. I don't know where Kylo wants to turn, but he can't do it really full out. Yeah, you also have that scene from one of the trailers where it looks like uh, uh, Snoke is uh, torturing Ray. You think that's gonna be kind of like a close turning point in the movie? Yeah, and we have seen some pictures as well that Kylo is actually presence in there uh mm. so maybe that gives him a bit of yeah. clarity for a moment <laughs> kind of scares him maybe a little bit thinks maybe yeah. he made the wrong decision oh, it's hard to see how they end up there like in that position because <laughs> i i also heard a, a theory that that was just a vision because remember in the first teaser trailer like the first shot is just like ray pants thing on acto so mm. maybe that's her like after afterwards but i, I think it's real personally yeah, that, yeah. That, that would be pretty interesting if it was just like a vision or something. And then, do you guys think there are any Sith right now or any other lightsaving wielder characters that uh, we haven't seen yet? I don't think so. No, <laughs> you they're, they're probably dead by this point. Right. You don't. Do you think there's any other kind of lightsaving wielder characters possibly in the movie that they haven't showed? That's a Renya. I don't think they wield lightsabers, but. You know they could be pretty pretty powerful, but I don't think there are any other lightsaber heroes really during this period. Yeah, what what do you think, Gustav? Yeah, <clears throat> I don't know. We heard some rumors about DJ maybe being a dark Jedi because of his name, 
uh, stuff like that. But I, I don't think he is because I think he's a new uh, kind of a Han Solo character who is like uh, a really a scumbag who tricks people and stuff like that. So right. I don't. I think they. I think they need to have another another lightsaber wielder. Yeah, with uh, what Ryan John like, I didn't think there was gonna be another light saving or lightsaber wielding character until Ryan Johnson confirmed that there's a new color, and that that almost tells me that there's there's a new lightsaber character out there that we haven't seen. It's kind of like a hint. So now I'm kind of thinking there is a new character that he might reveal in the Last Jedi. Yeah, but because if if uh, let's say if Kylo joins uh, the light side and go to the light side. Then Snoke would need an, another apprentice, a new one. Mm-hmm. Uh, so maybe he has one in his uh, backpack. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's got to be mm-hmm. Luke though, because um, didn't isn't it ha- like the color is determined on like the personality of the wielder or something like that. That's how they <laughs> determine the color. So if Luke is now, yeah. yeah, if he, if his personality changes like within the Force, wouldn't that change the color as well? I don't know. Yeah, I guess it it, it should. Uh, with the the new canon that lightsabers change to your personality. Yeah, but you also you also need to uh, if you have seen the new Vader comic when he uh, when he bleeds his the Kyber crystal to red, it's a it's a it's a process. You can't just take the lightsaber and if you're a new person you you have a new color. You need to process it, take it out the Kyber crystal and uh, fully meditate with it. Yeah, Vader Vader in one of the comics did turn. Uh, a crystal. I can't remember what color it was, but he did. He was the only character that has, we've ever seen turn a crystal in one of the, the yeah. comic books. And what do you guys think Leia's role is going to be in this movie? And uh, uh, her, how is she going to die, or is she going to die? I honestly have no idea what they're going to do with her. Like, it'll be kind of sad. Like, <laughs> anyway, she goes if, if she just like. Uh, I don't know if she's going to go off into the galaxy and do her own thing or whatever. And we're not going to see her in the next film, but I think they'd kill her off. I I, I don't know. It would feel kind of disrespectful. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like they, I mean, they could CGI her in the, the next movie, but I, I think they should kill her off. And I, I kind of think they're going to, but I'm really not sure how she's going to be killed off. Um, What do you, what do you think, Gustav? <clears throat> not CGI because they promised the fans in a press conference that they will never do that. So they will, they will respect do. that. Uh, yeah, I think they will respect that to Carrie Fish and her family well, and to cool. all the fans. <clears throat> but it's a really tricky question because they already filmed the whole episode eight. It's mm-hmm. coming out now, of course. Um, so they have to kill her off screen. They can, right. or well, ma- maybe she's going. Maybe she's going to live on in episode nine. Like a looming character in the background, like Snow. We, yeah, we don't see her. Thinking. Yeah. I, I mean, they, they could have filmed her already dying, and then, because, like you said, they, they filmed the whole thing before she died, but they could have actually already planned to kill her off in the movie, so. Yeah, but no, but they, they said, they said, yeah, yeah. She had a bigger role for the next film. Oh, yeah. she did. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wonder, you know, in the trailer when we see Kylo just like let the past die, I wonder <laughs> if like they have a shot of her and then like from outside the ship it getting blown off or something like that. <laughs> Maybe they could do that. <laughs> it's possible. Do you think she's going to have a a big role in this movie? Yeah, I think so. Uh pretty big, like bigger than the last film for sure, but Yeah, she didn't have too None of the Same. older characters really had that big of a role besides Han Solo. Yeah. Um, have like I think she will have a big. I think she will have a bigger role than uh, than Luke Skywalker actually <laughs> in this movie. Really? Yeah. I right. think this is like the Force Awakens is Han's film. This this is Luke's film. And then Episode Nine was meant to be Leia's film. I don't know. Oh. That's a, that's that's a good theory. That's just a theory. It, it does <laughs> seem about. to me. It does kind of seem like this is Luke's film since, and he didn't have anything to do with the first one really. <laughs> Exactly, he's got a lot of, you know, <laughs> a lot he's missed out on. Uh, yeah. Do you guys think this is going to be, like, the darkest Star Wars movie we've ever seen? Or do you even think it's going to be dark at all? Uh, It will be dark. I don't know if it's going to go Revenge of the Sith dark, <laughs> but I think it will be quite a dark film. So it's got that, um, I don't know what rating you have in a, in America, if that's where you're from. Um, It's like a 12A over here. Oh, if you're, 12 or under, I mean, under twelve, but yeah, it was like that for Rogue One as well. Now it's pretty 
Or, well, not really that dark, but you know, yeah, a darker for the for you know Star Wars. What What do you think, Gustav? You think it's going to be a dark movie? <clears throat> yeah, what we've seen in the, in the trailers, it's it's probably going to be a darker movie than uh, uh, The Force Awakens. But I don't think it's going to be like Studio says, Revenge of the Sith um, dark. Yeah, I I think it's I think it's gonna be slightly dark. Um, I really really want it to be a super dark Star Wars because I've always wanted a very almost like you know uh, like like I said I don't know what your guys' ratings are but like a rated R um, dark. But unfortunately, yeah. I don't think we'll ever see that because of Disney. But yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it will be uh quite as Revenge of the Sith dark, but I think it will be darker than uh, the Force Awakens. And, definitely, uh, yeah. Uh, to can kind of conclude uh, the 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 questions here. Um, what do you guys do? You guys think this is going to be one of the best Star Wars movies that we at least as far as like the prequels and sequels? Do you guys think this might be one of the best ones we've had in a long I time? I think it actually could be the best. Better than the originals. <laughs> it could be, yeah. Like <laughs> the originals, like from a story perspective, were like fantastic. They were like perfect, but. Mm-hmm prefer revenge of the sith to the original trilogy which i i think personally revenge of the sith is a pretty like badly made film i don't know about you guys but you know so cgi definitely does like play a factor with uh ryan johnson's creativity yeah no you know the technology we have now i think it could be the best yeah i I agree i think this will be uh It'll be close to Empire Strikes Back. I hope so, but I also think because I have so much trust in Ryan Johnson. You've seen, uh, if you have seen Looper, a great film he made, uh, and he has his new trilogy coming out. So I think it's going to be really, really good. Yeah, I'm really, really excited about this one. I wasn't super excited about The Force Awakens. I, mean, I went in with very low expectations, and this one I'm actually going in with very high expectations and kind of hoping for almost one of the best Star Wars movies we've seen. Well, this is going to conclude this part of the podcast. We're going to move over to uh, the questions from our discords here. So, yeah, we'll come to the part now, guys, with uh, viewer questions and Discord questions. Uh, so the first question we have from Crafts Lol, and uh, do you guys think The Last Jedi will make more money than The Force Awakens? Um, I personally do not think it will <laughs> make as much money because, you know, The Force Awakens is the film in what 16 years so everyone was like excited to to see it but i think the hype's kind of like died off a little bit not too much but like you can also see from like the amount of views the trailers are getting because the force awakens teaser had like 100 million yeah official trailer for last jedi has like 38 or 39 million at the moment i think so yeah it'll still make a lot but not as much as before yeah i i can agree with that and also disney's kind of ruin their hype a little bit by you know oversaturating the market with everything star wars so people are kind of you know just be kind of like oh it's just star wars so i think it will st- still make a shit ton of money but it, i don't think it'll make more than the force awakens yeah no i, I agree i think the force awakens uh it was a long time since the star wars movie came out so it, the hype was really high i know the hype is really high for this one as well but it's not gonna make that much money uh, maybe 1.5 billion I don't know. It's not going to make that how much, much, much How money. much did The Force Awakens make? Uh, 2.1 billion. Really? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's like how you said, it's not going to make that much money, just 1.5 million or billion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not that much. <laughs> yeah, it's really much, but yeah, we have to see. And we have Krabs Lol again asking, do you think we'll get the origin of Chewbacca in the Han Solo movie? Uh, and if so, do you think we'll see a Bosk? Uh, since in Legends, he uh, Han saved Chewie from Bosk, and they became buddies. Um, I honestly, I hope so. I hope we see Chewbacca in the the solo um, solo movie and where he came from and kind of how they met. Um, I don't know if it'll be quite an origin story of Chewbacca, uh, but I I will definitely 100% see him in at least the beginning of Han Solo and the Chewbacca's journey. Yeah, I think it's confirmed. Like they're going to show how Han and Chewie met, but um. We're not, we won't get an origin because like we've already seen him in uh, Revenge of the Sith as well. That's like earlier than a Han Solo film will will have been. But um, yeah, it's about Han, not Chewie. So I, I don't think he'll go that deep into his backstory. Yeah, yeah, with, I agree. Uh, with, with Bosk as well, like 
it's from Legends, so I don't I don't think Disney are really like touching the Legends stuff anymore. So they'll probably keep Bosk out of it. Yeah, I don't think we'll see Bosk either. No, I agree. Like uh, they have confirmed that we will see Han Solo and Chewbacca how they met, but I don't want to see Chewbacca's family and stuff. I know we're gonna see them in the <laughs> movie. I know we're gonna see them, in the movie, but I was gonna think of the holiday Christmas special, and <laughs> I'm gonna it's gonna be so cringy. <laughs> you don't want to see Chewbacca's sister. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question from Crafts Lol. Do you think episode 8 will end in a cliffhanger or in a satisf- satisfying ending with a few questions unanswered? Um, I definitely think uh, episode 8 will end in some type of cliffhanger. Um, I think we'll get some satisfying questions that are, you know, answered like maybe Ray's origins and who the hell Snoke is. Yeah. Uh, but I think w- they'll still leave us on a, a really good cliffhanger making you, you know, really want to wait for episode nine yeah i agree they're like they've said that some questions will be answered like uh a bit they haven't said fully raised parents but i think we will know uh uh more about it and snoke they have said that we don't gonna know everything in this movie so uh i think they're gonna save that for episode nine but i think definitely the, the film will end in a really big cliffhanger okay next questions from the crafts lol which character from all the movies would you like to see return i would say anakin but i kind of don't want to see him ever again at the same time <laughs> as a force ghost <laughs> or something it was so bad i know a lot of people disagree but let's be honest maybe maybe yoda is a force ghost actually yeah i want to see yoda as a force ghost That'd yoda is confirmed cool. yoda is confirmed already uh, what? Not, no, confir- you- not yeah not official but oh. they have uh, sources on the set that they have seen frank Oz there and recording uh, yoda lines I wouldn't mind seeing like Yoda, Why? maybe Qui Gon, or not Qui Gon, um, Obi Wan is like a Force ghost, but yeah, I want to see Yoda and Anakin. Uh, I actually had a dream last night that I heard Anakin's Force ghost in the movie. Uh, <laughs> well, it's confirmed. Uh, yeah, maybe that would be really cool. I have a question here from Sir Puppy Ivan. Will they ever bring back Lando back for the sequels? I don't think they will, because on. Like a couple nights ago, Ryan Johnson said like they didn't have enough space for for Lando because they've already got like a lot of characters. And if if he hasn't returned like this late into the trilogy, I don't think he's gonna return for nine. Yeah, I agree. I don't I don't think we'll see him. Honestly, I'd be kind of disappointed if I saw him. Like you said, there's already a lot of characters, and it would just be kind of like they were just throwing them in there just to throw them in there. Yeah, yeah I don't know. It's really old right now. Maybe it's pretty boring. I don't know. <laughs> I like <laughs> I like Lana's character, but uh, I don't know if if he wants to do it and he really cares about the movies. Then sure, maybe a cameo or something. Okay, we have more one question from Papi Arvan who doesn't uh, involve the Last Jedi. Is Darth Maul the Boba Fett of the pre- prequels? <laughs> what do you guys think? Uh, uh, I don't know. Uh, I mean, Boba I Fett was in more than one film. <laughs> so. Yeah. So yeah, I'd say no. I mean, yeah, Boba Fett was definitely in more than one. So, do you, uh, one more question from Papi Ivan. Do you think uh, anyone actually wanted a Han Solo movie? Probably a few people. I must have thought like when thinking about you know anthology films, like <laughs> I don't know really. Maybe a few people. I didn't really want one, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think there's there's always somebody out there that wants it, but I mean, I personally. That was one of like the last ones on my on my list that I wanted. Yeah, I don't care so much about it either, but I still gonna watch it because I love Star Wars. But oh yeah, uh, I still I still was... like it and probably hopefully enjoy it, but we'll see. It's not yeah. looking promising it was right now. Really low on my list, really low. I can say that. The idea of it doesn't seem that great, but you know, it's it's a film made by Lucasfilm. Oh, is it <laughs> by Disney? And it's a Star Wars film, so you know it's gonna be good anyway. <laughs> right. Yeah. Is Rhea Bings? No. no. What do you guys no. say? No. no. Oh. <laughs> then we have a question from Levy. Would you Would you like to see Anakin, Yoda, or Obi Wan return? We talked about it before, but you can guys give your opinion again about it. I feel like if we see Yoda, then we're gonna have to see Obi Wan and Anakin as well. But I, yeah. I don't know if they'd bring Hayden back for that. Yeah, I can agree. If we're gonna see Yoda, then I think they should bring Obi Wan and Anakin. Uh, but. Uh, if if we didn't see them, I wouldn't really be disappointed. Yeah, I want to see them all, so I was hoping that we'd, we we will see them all as Force goes. Made there is some rumors about maybe Luke have his own like Jedi Council meeting with the Force goes. That would be really cool. 
Yeah. Oh, that'd be cool, yeah. Yeah. And next question from Levy. Thoughts on seeing a funeral memorial for Han Solo in Episode Eight? How are they going to get his body back? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah. I, I was going to say they would burn the body, but then, yeah, his body did fall. Um, I don't know. We might see, like, a, maybe a quick no, it's thing. blown up after that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it might see like a quick memorial, but I don't think it'll be much of anything if we even see it. I don't really think it's that necessary, to be honest. No, Plus no I agree. Plus they're in a war with the First Order, so I think the last thing in their mind is a funeral. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe we'll see, if we're going to see Luke and Leia together, maybe they're going to hug and like maybe think about it. Yeah. I don't know. I think it'll, I think it'll definitely be mentioned. <laughs> But I, yeah. that's about it. Just a quick little mention of it and not much else. And next question is from uh, the Ranster, Rani. Uh, do you think The Last Jedi represent the Star Wars fandom as well as the other films, or is it starting to be too much, tend towards a fantasy instead of a science fiction? I, I think Star Wars has always been more of a fantasy than science fiction anyways. Yeah, yeah I agree. <laughs> Yeah, I, I mean, it's always got that sci-fi feel to it, but it's definitely more of a fantasy than I would consider science fiction, if anything, because it's not very science fiction-y. Yeah, I think maybe she maybe means that they maybe will move out from the the thing we know as Star Wars and love as Star Wars. Maybe, like, the, the Jedi will end, uh, there's no Sith anymore. Maybe she means uh, it's like that. I so I can agree. I can agree in some way what you're saying. Right, I don't think they'll ever go away from the Jedi and Sith. Like it kind of seems like it, but I think that'd be a very poor move if they just went away from Jedi and Sith completely. Wait, what are Kylo Ren and uh, Snow? Are they just dark side users? Is that yeah. what they're going by? So yeah. they're not Sith. It's kind of sad to see the Sith go though, as well. <laughs> yeah. But then, if if they brought them back, then that that whole prophecy with Anakin kind of would have would have been for nothing. No, yeah. I don't think we'll see Sith return. Well, I agree. I don't think so either. Yeah, the next question from Papi Ivan is on the same thing. Is Star Wars more, not more fantasy than sci-fi? And yeah. yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's definitely fantasy. Yeah. Next question is from Crafts Lol again. Uh, if there were any elements from the series you could use for Episode Eight, which should it be? Things like objects like the Black Saber or planets like Mandalore. I mean, You're a cool. big Mandalore fan. I mean, as I say, it would be cool to see... Uh, planets from Mandalore. Um, I don't think they'll bring any kind of like elements like that in Episode Eight, though. Maybe yeah. Black Saber, but that's about it. We haven't we haven't know what happened to Mandalore, so I'm I'm hoping that we will see maybe something from that uh, uh, part of the galaxy in the sequel era. So right. yeah, we'll have to see. It'd be cool, but I, I don't know if Ron Johnson will go with that that side of it. Okay, next question from Poppy Ivan. Who is the last Jedi? <laughs> uh, <laughs> Luke. Yeah. Yeah, Luke, of course. Okay, BB-8 or R2-D2? R2-D2. <laughs> yeah, R2-D2 is classic. I mean, I like BB-8, but R2-D2 is awesome. Yeah, same R2-D2. <laughs> BB-8 is fucking bald. <laughs> <laughs> next question from Flace as Darth Barafont. What is your opinion on Raylo? Okay. At first, I was I was kind of like skeptical about it because, like in real life, I couldn't see that happening. <laughs> but now I kind of don't really care about it anymore. I'm not too yeah. I'm not too bothered. I think we will see something in uh, something like that. I don't know if they're gonna have a real uh, loving relationship, but they clearly gonna be much closer to each other in this movie. Yeah, I don't think they'll have like a loving relationship, but they'll they'll definitely have some sort of form of relationship. Yeah. Next question from Solo Boy. What are you What are you looking forward to the most in the Last Jedi? I'm just looking forward to the questions we had being answered, like you know, Ray's parentage, and actually, I'm I'm most excited to learn more about Snoke. That's what I want to know. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, the same. Actually, is that I don't even know. I'm excited to learn about Luke as well. <laughs> There's so much to be excited for. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty much just excited for the whole movie. Honestly, just you know, another. Uh, another Star Wars movie and, and answering all the the questions that we've had for you know the past two years pretty much. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah, it, it's been a big, pretty big uh, lead up to this um, to this moment, guys. So 
I can't believe it's been two years. It's been two years since the last it doesn't, film. Yeah. It feels like it's been like six months. Yeah, for me. It, does. It, it actually feels like two years for me. <laughs> it's been a while for me. Okay, then another question from Solarboy. Opinion on Storm Pilot, Poe and Finn. <laughs> a gay uh, relationship. I don't... I hope I don't, not. I don't think it's necessary. Yeah, yeah not, <laughs> no, not just it. because it's a, a you know a boy and a boy, but it's more. I just don't think it's necessary for the movie. Honestly, it's just a distraction. It'll, it'll feel forced. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> really forced. Yeah, I agree. They, they didn't seem like they had any kind of relationship in the Force Awakens. So this, if they did that, it would just be definitely forced. Yeah, I had a friendly a friendly relationship. I'll leave it at that. I wouldn't take it any further. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next question from Crafts Lol is a really, actually, a pretty good one. Uh, how much do you think we will see the porgs since they are comedic relief in the in a probably dark movie? Well, we'll see them on Arcto, and then we see one on on the Millennium Falcon on Crate. Yeah. So I don't know. We probably will have to deal with them the whole movie. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I was like, we'll probably see them a lot more than we want to see them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Solo boy, ask next question: Porks or Ewoks? Uh, I think Ewoks. I, I always I, like Ewoks. Can't judge yet because I haven't seen the Porgs, but I'd actually have to say, uh, no, I'm not going to judge. I'd, I'll say Ewoks for now, <laughs> from what I've seen. Yeah. I'm, uh, I was, yeah. I was gonna say I, I'm hoping I like them because, like BB-8, I, I hated them when I first saw them, and then I saw the movie, and I actually kind of like BB-8, but. Yeah, uh, these porgs are really weird looking. Yeah, I the Ewoks is so fucking ugly. I don't like them. <laughs> <laughs> I think the porgs are much cuter <laughs> in that way. Like, uh, yeah, they were pretty bad, uh, pretty bad done in the <laughs> in the Return of the Jedi. The Ewoks were savage, man. Yeah. Let's move on. One more question from Flace, a Star Wars Battlefront. So, if Anakin lost his arm in a uh, second prequel movie and Luke lost his arm in a second original movie, so that does that mean that Rey will lose her arm in the Last Jedi? I don't think she will. I don't know. I've just got a feeling. If I had to guess, if anybody's going to lose their arm, I think Kylo Ren's going to lose his yeah, arm. Yeah, definitely. It's always a guy that loses his arm. Yeah. Plus, yeah. he's, he's maybe... seems weak. So. Yeah. And if he, if he doesn't turn to the light, so maybe he's going more Vader-ish type of character, like with the limbs and stuff like that. That would be pretty cool. Maybe Luke yeah. would lose his hand again. Yeah. He loses his <laughs> other hand. Oh, man. <laughs> and uh, next question from Solo Boy. You can just say yes or no to this one. Do you think The Last Jedi can be better than Empire Strikes Back? Yes. I think it can be, yeah. Yeah, I think it can be, but I don't think it will be. But I really hope so. I honestly think it will be. I know I'm just gonna like be let down or once I set my expectations so high, but <laughs> I honestly do think it'll be like the best film of all time <laughs> for Star Wars. I I yeah. hope so. I really do hope so. But I'm trying to keep my expectations not that high yet. Yeah, I hope it's gonna be a really good movie. I just want it to be top three on my list. Like I have, I have. Um, Empire Strikes Back first, then I have the um, Re Revenge of the Sith, then Return of the Jedi. So I just hope it's going to be up there. But you know the film is like 153 minutes long or something. So yeah, it's the longest, yeah. Even, it's the longest even with, movie. with all these trailers, it's like we still haven't, we've barely seen anything. <laughs> right. Crazy. Yeah. It's going to be a crazy movie. All right, guys. So this is going to conclude our podcast of The Last Jedi. Uh, make sure you check out the links in the description, everybody's channels are in the link in the description and uh, stay tuned for our next podcast don't forget to like and subscribe the video guys uh, and watch Studog channel he makes some great cinematics for Battlefront and uh, he's an awesome YouTuber oh thanks <laughs> yeah thanks uh, thanks for coming on with us Studog do you have anything yeah. to yeah, say yeah I just want to say th thanks for having me I've had a great time and uh, maybe I can come back <laughs> I can come back again one day who knows yeah definitely of course definitely yeah. All right, guys. Peace.